Another DCMA 14 point is long durations. What DCMA is looking at is any task that is longer than 44 working days or equivalent to two months. What DCMA would like you to do is break down that long task into much more manageable tasks. You want to create something that is manageable, executable, and you can measure against with performance. If you have a task more than two months and if you're updating your task every week like you should be doing, how can you get report to say, yeah, we're on schedule. I don't know what we're doing. It's a two month long task, but yes, I'm saying we're on schedule. How can you measure against that? Break that elephant down into bite-sized chunks so you can say, I'm writing a document. It takes two months. Well, how far am I in it? What is it? Do you write it? And then you have people reviewing it. What are the steps that are taking two months? So that's what you want to get to. You want to have measurable tasks to say, yes, I completed that. Everybody likes a sense of accomplishment. So that's the goal. So a recap on high duration, you're identifying all those tasks that have a duration that is greater than 44 days, which is that two months. And why is this important? Because long durations don't give you good indication of progress. And it's harder to measure progress on those big tasks. So you want to break them down. What field do you use to calculate this is you're going to be looking at your duration field. And how do you calculate it? You're going to count how many incomplete tasks have a duration that is greater than the 44 days and divide that count by the incomplete task. DCMA has a goal that says no more than 5% of your task can have a duration that is greater than 44 days. You want to work towards getting that down below the 5%. An example of how to calculate this is out of that 441 incomplete tasks that we have, there are 50 tasks that have a duration that's greater than 44 days. That 50 divided by 441 is 11.34%. That is greater than five. So we need to look at what those 50 tasks are and start breaking them down. How could they be measured better and broken down to where we can actually measure against them? So in our example of the house build, we had a couple tasks that were more than two months long. And one example is this cabinet it's being manufactured. Cabinets can take a really long time. So our cabinet maker gave us an estimate of 100 days. Now, this is also something where it's not in our scope, but it is. But having it detailed and broken out can help us and help them. My recommendation is to break this up. And that's how DCMA wants you to do it, is break it up. So we're gonna break up that 100 days task and say, okay, there's the kitchen cabinets that have to be made. There's the laundry cabinets that have to be made. There's bathroom one cabinets, there's bathroom two, and maybe there's a bathroom three. Now, each one of those is going to be 20 days long, so it's a month. And we're going to say 20, 20, 20, 20. Then we're going to link them all together and indent them. And now there's your 100 days task, same measurement but it breaks it down into measurable chunks. Now you can say, yes, we have kitchen cabinets done, move on to the next and so forth. But you can measure your performance easier when you break it down into smaller chunks. So that's the point of the metric is it wants you to break it down and not have these erroneous long duration tasks. So a recap of the high duration metric is it's looking at all the tasks that have a duration that is greater than two months. Because again, you want to use your schedule as a tool that is a dynamic forecasting model. And you can't track details if you have tasks that are longer than two months. You want to break those tasks down to where you can say you've got accomplishments and you can share those with the stakeholders. So we're going to be looking at the duration field for this one. And you're going to count how many incomplete tasks have a duration that is greater than the two months and divide it by the count of incomplete tasks. DCMA's goal is just no more than 5% of your task can be greater than two months long. You can have some because sometimes it's just unavoidable, but you will need to make sure that no more than 5% of your incomplete tasks have high duration.